Hello. Today we're going to be creating a super simple glitch with only a couple of steps. Similar to this example here, but it can also be used on footage or in transitions, which I'll touch on quickly at the end. So firstly, we need to import in our glitch mat. So I've, I've already imported mine in here. And if you go down to the description, I'll share a link where you can download this glitch mat that I created not too long ago. So follow the link, download the mat, and you'll have that to use to follow along with this tutorial. Feel free to use it on your own projects or client projects. It's yours to keep and to use as you please. You can also use your own glitch mat if you have one already, or you can create one from scratch. It's completely up to you. If there's enough interest, I may actually make another tutorial on how I created this uh, mat from scratch. So you can then build your own and adjust it as you please. Depends on what your project needs. Actually, that sounds like it could be quite a fun tutorial, so I might do that anyway. So keep an eye out in the description or comments and I'll paste the link in the future. Right, so let's jump in and create some glitches. As you can see, I have created a new composition using our glitch mat. Just dragged it onto the composition uh, symbol here, or you can right click and go new comp from selection. And it's this composition we need to drag into our main render composition. So I'm just going to go back to our example and I'm just going to delete everything, leaving us with just the glitch text. So nothing happening, it's just our text. This can be anything, it can be footage, whatever you want. So we're going to grab our glitch mat that we just created and we're going to drag that in underneath our layers and we're going to turn that off. As long as it's in the composition, that's all we need. We don't need to see it. So just drag to the bottom and turn it off. And then what we're going to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer. And this is where our glitch is going to happen. So we're just gonna call this glitch. And then in our effects and presets, we're just going to search for displacement. And what we want is the displacement map right at the top under distort. We're gonna drag that onto our glitch. And the very first drop down, we're going to click that and pick our glitch map. And you can see right away that our layer is affected. So what we're going to do is up the max horizontal displacement. And maybe just a bit on the vertical. And if we just play this now, there we go, there's our glitch. It does happen very quick. So in our glitch map, what we can do is what I do quite often is add a posterized time, drag that on. And this is just uh, to change the frame rate. So I'll drop that down to 10, makes it a bit more stuttery, a bit more glitchy. So if we go back into our main comp and play that again, it's the exact same glitches, just a bit more bit more steppy. And there we go. So if anything happens that you don't like, you can move the mat underneath. That is what's affecting our layer. But I'll just leave it at the start for now. And what we want to do on this adjustment layer at the top is just either keyframe our max horizontal and vertical displacements. So it goes from zero, then we can keyframe it out like so, or we can just leave it on whatever settings we feel works best. Then we can keyframe the opacity on our glitch adjustment layer. So I've just created the keyframe. What I'm going to do is right click and I'm just going to toggle hold keyframe just so it's on or off essentially. So we're going to start on zero and move forward and I'm just going to put that onto 100 then it will stay on 100 until I then put that back down to zero. I'll move forward again, back up to 100, move it forward, back down to zero. I'm just going to play that. And there we go, you can see our glitch is only affected between these keyframes. I was going to tighten that bit there. And there we go. So that's the basics sorted. 
Um, you may have noticed in the example that there was a bit of um, color displacement. So that's just a, um, another effect we should drop onto our glitch adjustment layer. And that is called set channels. So I'm just going to drag this onto our adjustment layer as well. And for the source layer one, two and three, which is RGB, red, green and blue, under the source layer, I'm just going to again pick our glitch mat on all three of these, like so. And we will leave the fourth one, which is the alpha channel, as none. So if I just play that again, you will see that now there is a bit of color distortion, which does help with the glitch as you will get a bit of RGB separation and it does add to the effect. There are other ways of doing this where you have more control over the RGB displacement, but this is just a very quick way of doing it and getting a very quick result. And there we go. So since we've keyframed the opacity of our layer, rather than our displacements in the displacement map, we can go in and adjust these at any point we want. So we don't want any horizontal, we just want quite a large vertical. And it's as easy as that. I'll just change it up here. Go back in. Let's just go for 17 and, uh, and the 10. Okay, and there we go. There you go. It's uh, very quick, very easy. It does have good results. I did mention I would do a quick example using footage. So let me just show you a composition I have. There you go, footage transition. And at the moment, it's just two clips. I'll just drop the quality just so it renders quicker. It's just two bits of footage back to back, a very simple cut. So let's add some glitches here. So first we need to drag in our glitch mat to the bottom and we can turn that off and lock it. And let's just create another adjustment layer. So let's not worry about set channels for this. So let's just go straight to our displacement map. Let's drag that onto our adjustment layer, which I will just name glitch. And then on that drop down, let's just pick our glitch map. And let's just adjust the horizontal and a bit on the vertical. And this time I'm not going to keyframe. I'm just going to have the adjustment layer I'm just going to adjust the in and out positions so it only affects the composition at this point here. So I'm just going to hit B and N just so we have this one small section. Let's just play that. And there we go, it's a very simple transition but what we probably would want is to see a bit of both at the same time. A bit of this one with a bit of the other one glitching on top as if the cut isn't quite working correctly and it just glitches over the top. So to do that, what I'm going to do is drag this glitch underneath our clip two. So now this adjustment layer only affects this layer underneath. And then what we're going to do is just copy and paste this displacement map directly onto our second footage layer making sure it's at the very top of the um, pile in our composition. So we're just going to paste. And more likely than not, the, oh, it did. Okay, sometimes you will have to reselect the glitch mat in this dropdown. Sometimes it doesn't always copy across when you do copy and paste. It has done this time. And as you can see now, there is a bit of overlap. So what we could do is adjust this even more on the horizontal and we can even keyframe that if we want so let's just keyframe that move that along get to here maybe it's reduced now like so let's drag them closer together and then we will need to um, bring this right down to zero same with the um, vertical so we will go back a few frames, keyframe our vertical displacement, go back and bring that also down to zero. And let's just see how that looks. 
I don't like how we can see it slide. So what I'm going to do is just um, whoop, bring up all our keyframes. I'm going to select them all. I'm going to right click and I'm just going to do the toggle hold keyframe that we did earlier. And that way it won't transition to zero. It will just cut instantly to zero when it hits that zero keyframe. Make it a bit more glitchy. Okay, so let's just see how that is now. I'll just zoom in a bit. There we go. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. So I might even um, just bring that in in a bit so it's not on for as long on that first clip. Yeah, that's not too bad. So it's very a very quick uh, way of doing glitches. And once you do have your um, glitch mat, you can bring it into any composition you need. And then it's just as simple as bringing in displacement map and adjusting the um, properties in that. So like I mentioned, I will most likely do a tutorial in the near future showing you how to create a glitch mat similar to this one. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that tutorial when it comes out. If you're watching this and it has already come out, I will link to it in the description or comments. So go and find it there. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.